sometimes the only way to make space for yourself is in the present. It's by clearing out all the issues from our past. Therapist Nedra glover Tawab knows a thing or two about healing past issues, and we're going to speak with her in just a minute. But first, a look at how her influence has become so far-reaching. We often feel like we over-communicate our needs to people, and I think it's quite the opposite. As a licensed therapist, Nedra glover Tawab has practiced relationship therapy for more than 15 years. With giving someone a second chance is what will be different next time. That's just how I am. And by turning to social media, her reach is even broader, attracting nearly 2 million Instagram followers. With her direct-to-camera guidance, Nedra shares tools and reflections for mental health and hosts weekly Q&As about boundaries and relationships. She's the author of the New York Times bestseller, Set Boundaries, Find Peace, and the Set Boundaries Workbook. And now she's back with a new book, Drama Free, a guide to managing unhealthy family relationships. All right, we're talking about making space. I'm so happy that you're here with us today. It's so good to see you. I feel like a lot of us are guilty of doing this. We're like, today was crummy. Tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow I'm going to start new. It's a reset. It's a new day. And they think that they will, it, we will begin again. I've done that myself. Yes. I'm like, tomorrow's going to be different. And what say you? Mm. <laughs> How about this moment was crummy? Sometimes it is the moment, it's not the entire day. We will take two experiences and say the whole day is over and we have to be able to catch ourselves and say, maybe this is a bad moment and not a bad day. And even if it is a bad day, when you wake up tomorrow, not carrying that energy over is so important. How do you turn the beat yes. around? Like if your day, if you have the moment that is yucky, mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you make it kind of end? Mm. You let it be a moment. Sometimes we throw those words out, like this entire day when it's like, okay, you spilled a cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah. Totally. yeah. <laughs> It's like, right. that's, that's not the whole day. That's a moment. Yeah. Take it to this small bit and not the whole entire thing. Yeah. Get into those activities that really fill you up or bring you joy. Maybe that's the time to turn on your favorite song totally. or call your friend who will yeah. lift your spirits. Okay. Um, one of the things that you write about in this book is about how a lot of what we carry, a lot of the triggers, mm -hmm. the things things that irritate us are actually things that we're carrying from our mm -hmm. past. Mm -hmm. How can we let those go? I mean, what should we do to figure out what the triggers even are? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a pattern that exists. Many times when we get frustrated in traffic, it's not about the traffic, it's about this other stuff. What is the pattern? Why does this thing bother me so much? Why do I get so angry when a person does X? Mm. When you can get to the bottom of that, you can start to recognize it and hopefully prevent it. Mm -hmm. I think recognizing that is difficult because there are certain people who just get on my nerves. And then you realize it's not what he said or what she said. Yeah. It hit a button. Mm -hmm. It's like trying to find your buttons. Can you find your buttons on your own? Is it yeah. something that you need someone to say, let me show you? Well, it depends on how long you've been trying. Yeah. You know, yeah. sometimes we try too long on our own, and it's like, well, it's been 30 years. You haven't found the button. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to talk to someone to help them find, you know, to help you find your button. What do you feel like are the biggest roadblocks when it comes to, tr to having space for ourselves? Mm -hmm us saying that we don't have space. So often we convince ourselves that we don't have time to do what we need to do to take care of ourselves. But miraculously, we're able to make time for our friend who calls right. or for a family member, for all these other people, but five or 10 minutes to sit in quiet or journal. It's like, I don't have the time. It's like, but you have the time for so many totally. other things. Well, because we can't say no because mm -hmm. someone needs us. So we're like- And no. there's guilt and, in that, yeah. right? So what do you talk, help us with the guilt piece? Well, then a no is a yes. You're saying no to this thing so you can say yes to something else. Sometimes I say no to attending an event so yeah. I can go to bed early. Right, or put your kids to bed. Or put my kids to yeah. bed. So it's not, oh, gosh, I feel terrible for this. I'm going to feel great in the morning when I wake up rested. Totally. So sometimes you have to say no as a prevention for these other things and, that you're saying yes to. And no without explanation. I feel like often it's like... I, I really wish I could, it. but I can't, and yeah. I'll tell you why. My kids have been... And then you go into some long, ridiculous story. Is just saying no, period, enough? 
It can be sometimes, and sometimes with the right people, we can give them a little bit more. But we know those people who will get guilt trip us. Yeah. And <laughs> they'll look for any hole in the story. But, oh, but you can do it later today? <laughs> yeah. Like, like... No, I just can't do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so... totally. So knowing who you're, who you're yeah. with. Drama Free, I like the title of your book. Uh, we do have a lot of it. So how do you start getting drama kind of out of your life? recognize the drama. Sometimes we're so in the chaos yes. that we think it's normal. And it can be a norm in your family, in your friend group, but you don't have to be a part of it. Totally. You can step away from it, and sometimes it's much healthier for you. It calms your body, your mood, your spirit, and so many more things. So if you think you don't have time, releasing some of that drama gives you a lot of time. Yeah. Some people love chaos. They're always in the middle yeah. of it. If you ever, when yes. you're around a person like that, yes. you feel that it, but they, they kind of thrive in it. It's but like that's they're... probably a pattern, too right? Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes it's all they know. Sometimes yeah. people like chaos because that is their norm. And to be in calm, it's like, oh my gosh, I've seen people where it's like quiet and nothing going on. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's too quiet. What, <laughs> what is the I noise? Do? So well, yeah, turn yeah, something on. We get used to chaos sometimes and we have to reprogram ourselves and say, this quiet, this peace is actually healthy for me. Mm. You have such a calm vibe. I know way. you Don't, really you? Don't do. you feel calm right now? I just want to hang out with you. Me too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And you can Thanks, check out Nedra's book, Drama Free. It'll give you all this advice and much more on today.com slash books.